Hi, Libra. Oh, that just flew right out, Libra. Someone may be afraid of texting or afraid of a text message. Okay, what flew out, though? Still hoping. So, oh, someone is waiting for a text message from you, Libra. Someone's hoping you're going to reply or respond or text them. Something like that. What's going on with Libra? Yep, text. It's almost a text message. So much communication. Still hoping. It says, they. yeah, someone can't let go. Someone is not letting go. They can't let go. They could be at a distance. It says far apart, boundaries, getaway, and music. Traveling with music, something like that. I see divine intervention under the deck, but that's interesting. Traveling. Person could be in a band, maybe. Traveling band. Traveling with music. Far away. This person could be a musician. And the card talks about like a snake charmer. So you, I don't know if that's how you feel about this person. Maybe they have a lot of tattoos. Maybe they play a musical instrument. Maybe they sing. So there could be somebody like that. You may hear music on the radio. I think that came out. Did that just come out so mostly? Scorpios? But you may see this person. They may be traveling right now. They could be hoping to see you or run into you, Libra. So just FYI, be ready. I get like they could pop up at a bar or a, not a club, but like, but like a coffee shop or something like that. But smoky. I'm hearing the word smoky. I don't know if it's smoky or they have like smoky eyes or something about them. It's very smoky, which usually means sexy. Um, victory. I'm also hearing the word victory. Now it could be the name like Victor, Victoria, Vicky, but I, I heard the word, I'm pretty sure it was victory. So I, I don't feel like something's going in your favor. You like that this person still wants to talk to you or still seeing you? Hmm. Okay. What's going on for Libra? Three of coins. The queen. Oh, you're on someone's mind. Yeah, I guess they're very attractive. They could be older than you, younger than you. It doesn't matter. The night energy is just, I get like this very sexy vibe. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. Sexy. Could have some tattoos. Um, I like arm tattoos, but um, men and women. Just So they could be whatever you find attractive. Four of Cups. Playing hard to get, though. You may not like this person, Karma. It's funny judgment. You know, they, you know what I kind of feel? I feel like this is somebody who may have sort of ghosted or ghosted you maybe had something going on and then they kind of disappear but you knew they traveled you knew they weren't going to stick around but now here they're coming back around to revive something with you even if it's just like a one-nighter that's kind of what the vibe feels like right now but it's kind of like karma to me this is judgment it's kind of like no i don't know like they didn't leave you in the best headspace for them to come back now and try to get back in your good graces you know what i mean but Okay, so somebody here also, I'm getting like traveling nurse. You're one something to do with your work. Maybe you choose travel for work as well. That's something to do with while well, you guys have a hard time seeing each other. Okay. Oh, this person's been thinking about you a lot. Is kind of what I'm getting with the moon. Three of coins. Because this guy in the three of coins is all by himself with this cat. And it's not like the other decks where they're with people. This three of coins makes me feel like someone who works hard or studies hard. And kind of the eight of coins. But it's like he's by himself he's learning something or studying or something and i think they i just feel like they think about you a lot more than you realize because what's on their mind is you libra this person is going to try to manifest you back so they're, they're trying to get you back but let me see one more for the magician wheel okay i gotta take the next one to four of wands yeah they want you back I wonder how they're doing this. Maybe they're going to play you some music or try to be all romantic or text you or something. I get the candle lights like that card shows. The candles or something very romantic. Okay. What they think about you and the situation. Wow. They want to move this towards love. Ace of Wands though, under the deck. I don't know. So I know they're attracted to you heavily, but I don't know if they're going to stick around. But the Two of Cups tells me there's a strong soul connection. This could be someone who comes back around and you guys have a heavy, strong soul bond connection, but I mean, if they don't stick around, well, maybe you don't want them to. I mean, not every Libra wants a long-term committed relationship, right? That's watching. You may not want that. You may just, you may like this, a fling or something, or what would this person say to you? I'm scared of being vulnerable, vulnerable with you. And I'm sorry I lied to you. Yeah, I kind of get they lied to you. I think they disappeared. They're like, no, I got to go now. I got to go to work or something. And that's what I'm saying. They did something here where they're trying to revive this with you and you're kind of like, um, no. Karma. One more. I need some alone time now. Now that may be you back to them, okay? 
Alexis. I can feel your energy everywhere. I don't know why. I feel like you might be saying to them, I need some alone time. But maybe that's what they said to you when they left. What is this Knight of Swords? Justice, messages, strength. They're going to put it all out there, hoping that you will accept them back. I kind of like this energy, Libra. Because, of course, it's your energy. Maybe a Leo. But it's kind of like I feel like they're going to be a straight shooter. And everyone loves a straight shooter. Who needs someone who's going to beat around the bush, you know, not get to the point? I feel like they're going to get to the point with the Four of Cups. So I don't know if you're going to be all open to this. The big Ace of Wands is here with the Knight of Coins. I don't know. I feel like this is someone that you have a hard time resisting usually. They could come with chocolates. I don't know why I feel like that with the, ace, the coin that he's holding. Probably not. But I'm just thinking, like, it feels like they have a gift for you. Um, you know what? I am seeing Halloween candy. I saw those candied apples that are really look really good for Halloween. I don't know why I got chocolate all of a sudden. Some of you have a sweet tooth. You may like chocolate. But um, I feel like they are very meek when they come back. Like they are a little embarrassed. There also might be something signif significant about tennis shoes. Because I'm noticing it in this one too. And I think those are Converse. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure those are. Because I don't think those are like Nikes or Vans or anything. I think those, But I don't know. Maybe something about their shoes is important. What is karma? What is the outcome? Knight of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. I don't know. You got a lot of Knight energy here, which tells me there's a lot of a lot going on back and forth. But I do feel like this person. I think you're gonna like be happy to see them again. I think they'll make up for what they've done. I think that. I'm gonna say this though. For a few of you, you would know this already. They, they're already married and they're still married because um, you, got, you are the Four of Wands, and then you're sad about them being the Ten of Cups. Now, you would know that. Okay, if that's not the case, if they are not, maybe one with that. King of Coin. Hmm, fool. Okay, this person is talking about a new beginning with you. Look at that. I don't. Seven of Cups, Four of Coins. I feel like you don't trust them when they come back around. Like, like the talk, they can say anything they want, but this person does want to be. Looks like they kind of want to settle down. What does this person want to say? Or no, actually, I'm sorry. What is the advice for Libra spirit with this deck? What is the advice for Libra? Regeneration. Yeah, they want to grow something. They want to start something over. They want to regenerate this. They want to mend fences. They want to fix and mend something with you, Libra. So it could be a Taurus or go Capricorn. They're telling me to go a different deck on a totally different th thing right now. There's somebody who's thinking about... Um, you know, as I pulled this deck out and travel went flying off to the side in this one also... So traveling to see you, you may be traveling. There could be something to do with travel industry. The reason I'm pulling this deck out is because they said someone had a question about like what they should be doing or their career. They need some sort of guidance. Because I thought about mending with sewing, but um, then that's where they said, okay, you need to decide about something. The message is time to decide. Talk to your angels, your guides, the universe, okay? It says, make a decision based on your heart's desire, and instead of worrying, ask for guidance. Ask for signs and symbols that are very unique, special to you. Because you're going to have to make a decision coming up here, so I'm getting. This person wants to regenerate, come back together, and mend this with you, Libra. And is this what you really want? For some of you, it is. I want to see what else this person would say to you from the other deck. Okay, here we go. I'm getting like Papa John's or Papa or something. I don't know if that's someone's nickname. I don't know if it's someone eat pizza, is eating pizza. I don't know why that's coming through. Maybe, maybe it's like Big Daddy or something, a nickname for someone. Okay, someone's saying, I dream about you. You are perfect in my eyes. Don't ever change. I also have the card of the distance between us is killing me, and I hope we can come back together and pick up where we left off. Yeah. You and this person may have a special song. Um, and again, maybe... Maybe they sang to you or something, or maybe you're going to hear a song on the radio. Some of you, you may run into each other while at a store. Actually, it's kind of what I'm getting. I feel like if you take this person back or something like that, like you may have some twists and turns. Things might be kind of like, I don't want to say turbulent in a bad way, but things went. If you and this person get back together, Libra, you're going to have to be making some big changes. Okay, but opportunities is what came out. A stranger or a person you know is about to change your life. Exciting times and plenty of action. Plus a special, it says family. I like to say friend or some a special reunion looks likely. 
I'd be open to conversations or something like someone is out of the blue at the grocery store so it's talking to you Libra and tells you something odd it could be an earth angel listen to them okay spirits gonna send you people that you won't even expect who are gonna say something randomly and you're gonna be like what and it's gonna be an answer to what you're looking for it's gonna be it's gonna be perfect is what I'm getting okay one out of this deck okay one out of this deck Libra yeah, so you can buy a home together. I see you moving in with this person and having a home together. Property, real estate, residence. We have union under the deck. That's another one for Libra. Semi rising and Venus. True love. It says pure love, an honest connection. Wow. And one more. Twin flames. Spiritual alignment, effortless and karmic. Wow. This is a beautiful connection. This really ended on a much better note than what I started thinking the reading was going to be. I guess the Two of Cups was kind of like the dead giveaway in the beginning. I feel like if this is someone, because Virgo I think had the same reading. If you truly love this person, then you need to give it a chance. No matter what could go wrong, give it a chance. If this is like who you truly love, don't let it pass you by. So I'm going to leave it there, Libra. Have a really good weekend.